How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video with the House Money Investing Channel. In today's video, I got several great stock picks for you guys in this red market. As well as we're going to go over 12 stocks that I just bought. <clears throat> if you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to follow my journey. Um, check out the description below if you want to see what this channel is all about. And if you want to see exactly uh, how I've accumulated over $21,000 worth of free stocks since June of 2020 and just over a thousand shares as well. Uh, also, I have some affiliate links in the bottom if you want some free stocks and free shares. Very easy to hit those links and go ahead and get that free money. Also, uh, I do leave my social media platforms down there as well as I post on those every day. Uh, you know in relations to the stock market crypto market that sort of thing so let's jump right into it these two pop line stocks are undervalued and pay a fat dividend we got ticker MMP then we got enterprise products partners ticker EPD EPD is something that I do own long term uh, as well as in my house money portfolio uh, the tickers that I provide you guys with, I'm not going to go in debt. I've already done my due diligence and my research. I don't have a large enough following to spend the amount of time it would take to break down each stock. So please do your own research and due diligence. You know, look at their financials, look at their fundamentals, look at their board members, look at analyst ratings, look at the history of the company, all that jazz, and see if it's something that fits your portfolio. Next, we have three small cap cannabis stocks that are better bets than sundial uh, we got ticker trssf we got ticker jushf and we got harvest health and recreational ticker hrvsf and of course these are over-the-counter otc stocks so you won't be able to find them on Robinhood, but you can go to um you know brokers like fidel uh fidelity and that sort of thing like the big boy brokers and you can get into these plays uh, next you need income these three high yield dividend stocks are leading the market you got lumen technologies ticker l-u-m-n you got ticker o-k-e and you got ultra group ticker m-o which is a stand a sin stock uh, ticker l-u-m-n and ultra group are two stocks that I own long term personally as well as that I have in my house money portfolio. Uh, two SPAC stocks to buy right now that you should make a fortune on will be Social Capital Holdings, ticker IPOE, and ticker GHVI. Now these IPOE, IPOB, IPOC, all these SPACs are really um, great plays um, due to the due to the person that is. Um, you know funding these these ideas and these companies um i can't really pronounce his name it's like i don't know do the, do your research to find out i know the guy's name but i can't pronounce it i'm not really good with letters better with numbers so i'm not even gonna uh you know attempt to pronounce his name and just screw it all up next we have three high yield dividend stocks robin hood investors love we got AT&T, ticker T. We got Invesco Mortgage Capital, ticker IVR. And we got ExxonMobil, ticker XOM. All three plays that I own long term and in my house money portfolio. So uh, look into these as well. Uh, next here we got ticker AVLR. Uh, these next few stocks are going to be, um, you know, some great plays as well. Uh, we got Churchill Capital, of course, ticker CCIV. This shouldn't be on the list. Let me go ahead and delete it off here. I was actually showing that to somebody else, so that's why I got to shot my phone. Uh, we got Upstart, ticker UST, ticker UPST, uh, another great play. Uh, we got Oshkosh, ticker OSK. Um, you know, they, of course, got that UPS, uh, USPS contract. Uh, workhorse didn't get it. Workhorse was down like 50% on the day. That's including market hours and after hours. 
um, this is going to be a great play. As you can see, I'm adding these to my watch list, so I will be buying all these positions for long-term plays. You know, sometime this month. Uh, the next two tickers are just going to be tickers that I based um, my picks on based on their charts. So look at these technical charts if you know how to read them. And you'll see exactly why I got them on here. We got tickers CTLT. And we got Sunrun, ticker RUN. Sunrun is another play that I already own long term in my, my um, house money portfolio. Uh, when I add stocks like Sunrun and Upstart back to the watch list, that means I'm just going to either build my current position or... Or purchase it in another brokerage that I have I do have a total of 23 brokerages that I use so you know I may own it in three different brokerages maybe there's another one that I don't own it in I'll purchase it there or when I do swing trade I'll swing trade it you know pull out my principal and leave those gains into the stock which will build my current positions now we're gonna get into 12 buys that I just made uh, we purchased $18 worth of big commerce ticker BIGC which is 28% of a share. All these trades are going to be in Robinhood. As I just did deposit uh, $8,520 yesterday, which I'm going to, um, you know, use the $8,500 to buy long term stocks in my Robinhood portfolio. Next, we bought $19 worth of ticker LIT, which is 29% worth of a share. We bought $20 worth of ticker DAR, which is 30% of a share. We bought uh, $21 for ticker FTCH, which is $31 a share. Uh, we bought $22 a moat, ticker MOAT, which is 32% of a share. We bought $23 worth of Robo, ticker ROBO, which is 34% of a share. Bought $24 worth of SPHB, which is 35% of a share. We bought $25 worth of SUSL, which is 37% of a share. Then we bought $26 worth of FTCS, which is 38% of a share. We bought $27 worth of NHI, which is 39% of a share. And we bought $28 worth of ticker HEDJ, which is 41% of a share. And then we bought $29 worth of Graco, ticker GGG, which is 41% of a share. Now, I know a lot of these tickers you may not recognize, or if you actually do a lot of stocks, you'll recognize that they're actually ETFs and depending on the uh, letters you'll know exactly what funds um, you know who they're from like Spider, Fidelity, iShares etc um, you know you can look at these tickers and see exactly uh, what these ETFs are and what they do and I always preach that I love ETFs this month I'm really going heavy in a lot of ETFs just to get a lot more diversification in my portfolio, even though I already own over a thousand stocks, um, ETFs and funds give you a lot of diversification, a lot of exposure into those sectors and those markets that you're looking for. And it has super low volatility, you know, because there's so many shares, it's like a bundle of stocks all in one when you purchase like an ETF or a fund. Um, so definitely look into those and, you know, gave you guys some great stock picks today you know as well as some of the plays i made so that pretty much some of the video this is the ticket to my last video if you want to check that out i appreciate you guys for tuning in subscribe hit that bell if you want to follow my journey and watch me build these portfolios um this channel mainly just focuses on the house money aspect as i'm just showing how you can grow basically from one dollar you know i'm currently at twenty one thousand dollars in this portfolio that i have for the house money and it's all free shares it's all house money shares it's all shares riding on the house's money it's a low risk no, really it's a low risk uh swing trading uh strategy i came up with and long term it's risk free because everything i do own i have like a thousand forty four shares and they're all riding on the house's money so i can let those ride out as long as i want to at no risk to myself and i don't have to worry about it so once again, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.